is how you sprue. You have a sprue base, which is this, and then you have a flask, which is this, and you have to make sure your flask is going to fit onto your sprue base, which this one does. I'm going to set that to the side though. And you need a lamp, lamp with a fluid inside of it. Make sure that it's the right one. Ask me for help. And then this is a good size on your flame. You can go up and down on this one, but that's pretty good. And then I usually make sure that this brew base doesn't have a bunch of investment in it, this stuff. So I get that all out. And then you're gonna heat your tools. I have different tools. And you're gonna heat a little bit of the sticky wax. So right now, my sprue base already has sticky wax on it. You can see that. I usually go through and kind of melt that a little. Get it a nice, you don't want you don't want investment all over your sprue, your wax. You want to make sure that's nice and clean. Okay. You can kind of build up the wax a little if you need to. Like I just peeled off a piece. But you can kind of, you know, this sticky wax stays pliable for a while, so I can kind of shape that. But anyway, you kind of, you know, that's why you heat up your tools, so you can kind of get that nice and clean and sticky, right? Okay, so I'm going to sprue a pine cone, first of all. So basically, I just put a little wax on there, and then I can just stick that right onto my sprue base, but what I'm gonna do is build up a couple sprues, different layers, so I'm gonna cut that. Stick that, like I said, it's super sticky. Okay, heat that, stick. And that's on there pretty good. So I'm gonna leave that. And I can do a couple. So that way I can layer them. But the idea is you wanna have them so that they shoot out as pretty much as upright as you can into this flask. And I'm gonna kind of salvage my sticky wax here. I don't need quite a big sprue. So I'm gonna cut that in half. But that's the general idea. 